What's up you guys? This is your girl Roxy and I'm excited to show you guys this video. It came out eight months ago so some of you might have seen it but it's in the playlist on how to grow teeth. Watch this video guys. Um, basically I've seen a few minutes of it but I haven't watched the whole thing so I'm going to comment along the way and this video is called a new drug has been invented will people be able to grow a third set of teeth and that's actually a video i was going to make is when we're going to grow a third set of teeth so we're going to talk about that in just a second so watch this video for a few minutes for centuries mankind has faced the problems associated with tooth loss and dental maldevelopment from old artisanal ivory teeth to modern dentures and implants science and medicine have sought ways to restore lost teeth and restore people's confidence in their smile and chewing function the earliest records of dental medicine can be found in the ancient civilizations of mesopotamia egypt india and china about 5,000 years ago in Mesopotamia, doctors used tooth extraction techniques and paid attention to gum disease. Ancient Egypt used dentures made of precious metals, wood and bone to replace lost teeth. An All right, guys, I want to comment on this because I have mercury fillings and I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do about it. But with all the research I've been doing on gold and the amazing things it does for your brain and your body and how the Egyptians use gold, I really think... Like right here. Doo -doo. Yeah. Doctors used tooth extraction techniques and paid attention to gum disease. Ancient Egypt used dentures made of precious metal. Precious metals. So look at that, you guys. They used gold. They used copper. They used all kinds of things for your teeth, but they didn't use like crazy mercury and weird metals. So I'm going to definitely be looking into putting gold into my mercury fillings and maybe even getting like a gold tooth or something just to put in the place of my other tooth until it grows. Okay, let's continue the video. Thanks you guys for watching and I'm really excited that I'm finally making a video. I love you guys and I really want to help everyone get the most amazing set of teeth because it really affects your health wood and bone to replace lost teeth. Ancient India developed the first treatments for tooth decay, and China had procedures for mending teeth using wire and other materials. Middle Ages and Renaissance. During the Middle Ages, dentistry was not a separate science and dental treatment was based more on folk superstition and primitive methods. However, during the Renaissance period, doctors and scientists began to study the anatomy of the mouth and teeth more systematically. In the 20th century, dentistry became more specialized and innovative. In the 1950s, new materials for fillings and dentures, such as composite resins and ceramics, were developed. X-rays became common, allowing dentists to detect problems inside the mouth. In the following decades, dentistry continued to evolve, introducing new technologies such as lasers, computed tomography, and digital dentistry. However, despite all the advances, there is one area that has long remained a challenge for us and challenged our ability to achieve total comfort dental health. Many people experience anxiety and reluctance to visit the dentist, and if you recognize yourself in this description, Guys, I've been saying on my channel that uh, modern dentistry right now is barbaric. And as you can see just from this video right here, this is basically what they do to you. They don't know what they're doing and do not get a tooth removed. Um, you need to save the tooth if you can. You don't want to remove the tooth and put something else, metal in there, root canal. And there's another video, guys, I want to show you where basically root canals can actually cause heart disease. And that's from Dr. Berg. He talks about what happens if you get a root canal. So that's scary. Do not get root canals. Do not take your teeth out. And in just a matter of time, we're going to be able to take a pill and grow teeth. Let's keep watching. You are not alone. A recent study conducted in the Netherlands found that 24% of adults feel fear about dental treatment. What's more, many patients who have a fear of going to the dentist that they put it off until serious problems arise. This may explain why 92% of American adults have carious lesions in their permanent teeth. But there is good news. Recent research has shown that a Japanese research team is making progress in developing a groundbreaking drug that could allow people to grow new teeth. There are living organisms in nature that can regrow damaged body parts. Sharks and other animals have the amazing ability to grow new teeth throughout their lives. This process, known as polyphyodontia, allows them to constantly renew their teeth and maintain their digestive efficiency. A shark's teeth are arranged in multiple rows, and each row is a set of teeth ready to be used. When a 
See, guys, when we grow extra teeth, like the guy in India who is growing a bunch of extra teeth, he has extra rows of teeth. Like where my tooth is growing, it's like a row, an extra row. We're supposed to have multiple teeth in those rows. And they probably try to just pull it out and call it a condition, but you're actually supposed to have extra teeth like sharks. Shark loses a tooth. A new tooth begins to form in the tooth gap under the old tooth. It then gradually shifts forward, replacing the lost tooth. This process continues throughout a shark's life, allowing them to always have a complete and functional set of teeth. It is also worth noting that shark teeth have a special structure that promotes their rapid growth and replacement. Besides sharks, some animals also have the ability to grow new teeth. For example, crocodiles, alligators, and some species of lizards have the remarkable ability to replace lost teeth. They exhibit polyphyodontia, similar to that seen in sharks. So why do humans only replace their teeth once, unlike sharks and other animal species? The complexity of tooth structure is due to diet. For example, animals that eat bamboo have complex teeth. Giant pandas and some species of lemurs that eat bamboo have back teeth with many sharp bumps for chewing and crushing hard food. There are other examples of animals with unusual tooth structures. For example, piranhas have teeth that fuse together to form a sharp blade, allowing them to retain three healthy teeth and use them while waiting for new ones to grow. And manatees continuously grow new teeth in place of their lost back teeth throughout their lives. Other animals never change their teeth, but they are constantly growing. Such species include include the Madagascar polecat and some rodents, including rats and mice. It may seem that compared to other animals, humans are not very lucky to have only one set of permanent teeth for most of their lives. However, that doesn't mean that our development has stopped. Experts say that it is becoming increasingly rare for humans to have wisdom teeth, the third molars that grow when we are young and our jaw is fully formed. People have not given up on solving the problem of new teeth, so in 2002, British scientists achieved a breakthrough by growing almost whole teeth from individual cells. They used dental pulp initiator cells, which developed into enamel, dentin, and pulp. However, the teeth proved to be fragile because of the different- 2002, they were already growing teeth and we didn't know about this? Come on, guys. It's been out there. Culty in creating the ideal structure and connection between the tissues. Despite this, the study showed the potential of stem cells and tissue engineering in regenerative dentistry. Japanese scientists then continued the research in 2007 and were able to grow nearly full-fledged new teeth in mice. However, the teeth had no root, which limited their functionality. In 2009, scientists were able to grow full-fledged teeth for mice using stem cells. A major accomplishment was growing a tooth root which had previously been a challenge. However, the grown teeth turned out to be slightly smaller in size compared to natural teeth. In 2013, Chinese scientists managed to grow human teeth in mice using stem cells derived from urine. This ex What? Human teeth in mice derived from urine? <laughs> okay, guys, they've been trying to do this for a minute, so it's finally here. People are probably already doing it. The experiment confirmed the potential of using human stem cells to grow teeth. In 2015, scientists were able to grow a new young tooth in place of an old one in an empty alveolus. They created a tooth skeleton from natural materials and grew a new tooth in it using stem cells and a growth stimulator in just two months. This demonstrated that it was possible to effectively restore teeth in place of lost ones. In 2017, scientists were able to stimulate stem cell division in mice using the substance Tyglucid which is used to fight neurodegenerative diseases. This method allowed the development of stem cells to be guided along a path that forms dentin, the base of the tooth. In 2018, an artificial process that mimics natural tooth growth was proposed. Using a recombinant elastin-like biopolymer and apatite nanocrystal growth, researchers created the conditions for tooth growth in humans. In 2019, researchers from the University of Plymouth in the United Kingdom conducted a series of experiments examining tooth development in mice and analyzing the genetic processes that govern this process. They looked at a set of genes whose activity changed during incisor growth. The research identified genes that encode various growth factors and signaling molecules that play an important role in tooth formation. These genes and molecules control cell proliferation and differentiation and the formation of tooth enamel, 
dentin, and other tooth structures. In 2020, Dr. Jeremy Mao and his colleagues at Columbia University proposed using stem cells to grow teeth, replacing the missing bone formation with stem cells. This accelerated the process of dental regeneration and repair, with an estimated time of 2.5 months to grow new teeth directly in the human mouth. In 20 2.5 months to grow new teeth, so... I was going to tell you guys that we have to wait until we're like 90 years old to grow teeth, but now they're saying 2.5 months. So, as you guys can see, this was released eight months ago. Somehow I missed it, but um, there's so much going on, so I'm going to have to do an update on everything ASAP. 21. A team from Kyoto University's Graduate School of Medicine managed to publish a promising study. It said that a protein called USAG1 limits tooth growth in mice. By turning off the gene responsible for producing the protein, the mice were able to grow their teeth freely. In previous animal experiments, the drug stimulated the growth of third-generation teeth, following the baby teeth, and then the permanent adult teeth. As Katsu Takahashi, lead researcher and head of the Department of Dentistry and Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery at Katano Medical Research Institute Hospital, said, The idea of growing new teeth is every dentist's dream. I've been working on this since I was a graduate student. I was sure I could do it. It was in 2005 that researchers discovered that mice deprived of a certain gene had an increased number of teeth. It was discovered that a protein called USAG1, synthesized by this gene, limited tooth growth. In other words, blocking the action of this protein could allow more teeth to grow. Taka I have made a video about three genes that are involved, so definitely check out the um, other videos on the playlist because I have a recent video talking about the genetics of the teeth. Takahashi's research group focused on USAG1 and developed a neutralizing antibody capable of blocking the protein's function. In experiments conducted in 2018, mice with congenitally low numbers of teeth were given a drug that resulted in new teeth. Work is currently underway to prepare the drug for human use. Once confirmed to have no harmful effects on humans, it will be intended to treat children between the ages of 2 and 6 with anodontia. We hope to set the stage for clinical application of the drug. Okay, interesting. So only kids between two and six who don't have teeth they're going to give it to. So that's cool. So that means that, and I've been thinking about this a lot, is my, t my teeth that are growing, is it my first set, second set, or third set? And that sounds like a crazy question and not one that a lot of people are asking. But I think because of my diet and because I'm getting younger every day, and I'm healthy in a lot of ways because I'm crazy about everything on my diet and everything. Um, I believe that my first set of teeth are growing back in. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like, because I've been telling people you got to be like a newborn baby. And um, if you become like a newborn, then you're actually going to go back to your first set of teeth. And then when you get to 90, you'll grow your third set of teeth because you kind of have to. Cause... So then my hypothesis is if you grow a third set of teeth at 90 and you have your teeth for 70 years or something that means that we should be living till about 150 years old and there's some people out there that might live till 200 because of how crazy they are with their diet and all that they're doing crazy experiments so diet is key and belief is key guys if you tell yourself you can grow new teeth you can turn off those genetics or turn on all right let's just see how this video ends Takahashi said, about 1% of the population has reverse anodontia, hyperdontia, a congenital condition in which the number of teeth is greater than normal. Acqu See guys, this is how your teeth are supposed to look and I have my new tooth is growing right there. So if I had a new tooth coming in, it'd be one of these tooth. So I have this tooth is missing and then I have a new tooth coming in right here. So it makes sense why the tooth is growing where it's growing because boom, yay, I have this condition, I guess. According to research conducted by Takahashi's group, one in three cases has the growth of a third set of teeth. Takahashi believes that in most cases, the ability of a person to grow a third row of teeth has been lost over time. When the researchers applied the drug to ferrets, they grew an additional seventh front tooth. Because the new teeth grew between the existing front teeth and had the same shape, it is believed that the drug caused the animals to form a third tooth row. When dental treatment becomes impossible due to severe decay or erosion of the tooth sockets, known as pyorrhea, people... Do not put metal in your mouth, guys. That looks so bad.
People lose their teeth and are forced to rely on dental devices such as dentures. The ability to grow third generation teeth could make a difference. As Takahashi said, in any case, we hope that there will come a time when a cure for growing teeth will be the third choice along with dentures and implants. The drug could be revolutionary. If the tooth regeneration drug proves successful, it could be a game changer for all of dentistry. With the use of advanced techniques and new discoveries in science, we can believe that the future of dental medicine is on the cusp of a whole new era, where healthy and beautiful teeth will become available to everyone, restoring not only their confidence and health, but also a new standard of living. Wow. Oops. If you know me, you know I'm always on the okay so that video was on this playlist that's called people who regrow new teeth you can see here we got my video we got a few other videos that video right there that i just showed you by about all um we got a lot of my videos on here so i talk about a bunch of stuff the genetics of growing teeth we got let's see here talk about my mercury fillings seven ways to avoid the dentist which kind of coconut oil to use? Does red light therapy help grow your teeth? Yes, and sleep helps grow your teeth. So I talk about that, is sleep the key? Because when I slept a long time and did the coconut oil pulling, my tooth started growing. So if you wanna watch that video, it should be at the top. Look at this, all these videos, guys. That's my original video, Growing New Teeth. And it's gotten like 37,000 views, 40,000 views. And a lot of people, if you look at the comments, it's an amazing discussion on how to grow teeth and um everyone is just saying amazing stuff so at least watch this video guys okay because you can see what is up youtube world it's your girl roxy if you guys want to see here see they grow back it takes years i got rid of cavities it's re it's possible to regrow teeth thank you for sharing roxanne i believe in tooth restoration Awesome, I'm with you in getting a brand new smile. Wow, mind-blowing. Thanks for the inspiration. Now I have more reasons to get better sleep and diet. Uh, thank you, Roxanne. We'll do the coconut oil pulling. I am very happy to find your video. Thank you. I thought this some time ago. Yes, come on, Roxy. You need to keep us up to date. Okay, guys, I'm trying to keep you up to date right here. Thank you for all. Everyone check out these comments. And also, if you guys um, really want to get into this, I actually have a website and uh, let's see space news this is space news tech and if you guys go to this website what i am offering now is just wait for it wait for it we can now grow new teeth book a zoom consultation to learn more book your one-on-one so for one hour for 25 bucks i will do a zoom one-on-one -on -one, and if we we can talk about what you can do and um, how you can grow teeth and like your personal situation. I get people emailing me and messaging me, help me, help me, help me. So if you want to talk face to face about your situation for only 25 bucks, you can come here to spacenews.tech. You can click book your one-on-one -on -one now. You can pick a day and pick a time and it'll let me know. And then basically um, you can pay I don't know, the pay, I'm trying to think, um, book it and then the pay thing will come. It'll take credit, it takes anything. It'll pay me through the website. And I guys, I just want to make this my job to help people. I want to start a sort of nonprofit to get all the information together, the dentist together and start a new dentistry that's maybe on every corner on how to save your teeth. Guys, it's so important. It's so important to save your teeth, okay? Do not pull them out uh, and have a healthy diet, guys. Don't be eating donuts and sugar and all that stuff, okay? So check out spacenews.tech, and that is my website. And there's a few ways to, and there's got a whole blog about AI, crypto, and I'm talking about the new dentistry. I think I have a whole section here. Future health tech, if you go to here, that's when I'm starting to talk about the future of dentistry and I'm going to start documenting everything on this. So please check out my website and I'm so sorry I haven't posted you guys, but I love you and thank you so much for checking in. Peace and love.